Uh, yeah, I guess, if you can take me up to, uh, Sandy Shores. Yeah, man, hey, do me a favor, I'm just gonna drop the girlfriend off at the house, I'll whip back around and pick you up, alright, I'll be right back. Okay, no worries, man. Sketchy as fuck, not gonna lie. I was gonna do something else, but if this leads to something interesting, which I've got a distinct feeling it might, then, uh, we could be having some luck. Here he comes. Okay, there it is. Yeah, I appreciate this, brother. If you can take me up to, like, Sandy or something, that would be appreciated. Yeah, man, we were we were just coming over here because we, uh, we worked for Phoenix Freight and we were checking out one of the trailers in the back. And I saw that crazy shit you were doing with the, uh, the forklift, so I figured, yeah, this guy needs a ride. No, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I was, uh, got caught on the highway. They cut me a deal where if I drive on the shoulder, then they'll escort me there, but I didn't see that massive boulder that I probably should have saw, and it flipped over. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'll do it. God yeah, love no, it. we got a couple forklifts with our company, and uh, we flip them over all the time. Those things are pieces of shit. Yeah, I think it's the rear wheel steering. Yeah, no, that'll definitely do it. So uh, you, nice. Uh, you good with being dropped off at like BCSO? Oh, we're not gonna make that. Yeah, um, this was a nice challenger you had. But yeah, if you can drop me off somewhere by there. Yeah, we could fix it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll bring you over there, no worries, man. I appreciate that, man. Ah, oh, this dude seems cool. I quite like this map, this black deck charger. Challenger, sorry. I'm gonna get the charger brigade on me now. That's not a charger, that's a challenger. I actually, fair play to my comment section, I actually haven't had that much in the way of people being assholes. As I said, man, I appreciate this. You uh, might want to get the front of your car fixed up, though. Yeah, I'm going to have to take it to a shop. No worries, brother, though. Good luck out there, man. Yeah, have a good one, man. Well, that was cool. Right, so, I need to find something on my phone. Because I got a suggestion off one of you guys, and I think it's actually a pretty cool idea. Uh, I'm just going to try and find the name, give him a shout out. Catherian. If you run in front of a... What they put? Like, if you run in front of a sieve that's just driving down the road, and then your friend would run up and there'll be a witness, but on your side. I mean, I haven't got a friend online yet that I can do this with, because Troy and Matthew are... thing. So I'm thinking I could do this lone wolf. Um... I am wearing a high vis. That makes things difficult. So, uh, insurance scam, run out in front of a car. I mean, Kafirian mentioned Civ car? Mm, not necessarily. I mean, I don't think there's any ambulances driving around, but there's certainly a uh, cop. Maybe a cop on patrol back from Panorama. Uh, back from Panorama, back from wherever he's doing at Panorama. Jump straight up in front of him. Anyone with a truck? I don't have a truck, sorry, dude. I'm just gonna jaywalk right here, I hope you don't mind. Right, look for a good place. Where would be a good place to run out from? I also need a reason to. This is Ohio. We're in Ohio. What's in Ohio that could make me run? Coyote? Are coyotes vicious? Um, do you know, that's something I genuinely don't know the answer to, whether coyotes are... I'm pretty sure they could do some harm. I don't know if they are generally vicious, though. Alright, so if I just chill... here... poking my head right in the corner... look both ways... actually... ooh... No, 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 no. I like this place even better. This seems like the type of place where a coyote would be. So sit here and wait for some... <laughs> wait for just an innocent person, maybe a cop, save, whatever comes first. And uh, see if we can get some money out of them. I like this idea. Ooh. Is that a... No, that's not a sieve. 
God damn it. Those bright ass headlights. Oh. Gotta love that AI. Ah, that's something. This junction, well, these two junctions, that one there and that one there, they're notorious for AI jumping. Ah, oh, shit, that was a sieve. Didn't have enough time. God damn it. Yeah, those two junctions are notorious for AI turning out in front of you. Which means that people are going to be more on alert than they usually are. That's the thing though, you literally got a second or two, literally a split second, to make up your mind as to whether it's a sieve or an AI, and then to work out whether it's worth doing. Preferably, I'd get a cop. I'll be honest, I'd rather do it to Troy. <laughs> or Matthew. But, nah, cop would have it on dash cam. That's not good. But hey, I got a wicked excuse, so... There's so much thing you like you see headlights, you're like, right, is that a sieve? Yes it is. And then you gotta run from cover, you gotta do that and run out into the road. That takes a second and a half. Of oh Sorry dude. She, Jesus Christ, man. The fuck? Hey, I'm not doing nothing, man. Just just having a poop. <laughs> God damn it, that would have been perfect. They're going too slow. Not a truck. I'm not getting hit by group sex security. Although I do kind of want to rob them. I'm not jumping out in front of an armoured fucking truck. <laughs> you out of your mind if you think that's happening. Oh? I hear sirens kicking off. hiding behind this tree. I think I'm less noticeable and it'll give me more time. Oh, it's up there. Come on. Have a pursuit fly past me. That's a sieve. Ooh! Ooh! That was close. That was close. Holy shit. I need to change location. Oh, dude, that was close as fuck. All that new uh, shrubbery that the council paid to have put in down here, that could be useful. That would make good cover. All those new trees. They paid a lot of money for them. The, the uh, government came, planted them, made the area a bit greener, economical, economy kickle, whatever the word is. <gasps> oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. The fruit stand. I'm going to be at the fruit stand. And then jump out in front of a car. Because no one ever looks twice at the fruit stand. And if they did, I'd look like an AI. God damn, I missed my opportunity there. Well, they're going off-road. <laughs> what the hell? Really, dude? Whatever. This is a great location, because I can see what's coming up. Yeah, that's what I need to do. So about half a second before they hit me, I need to get up and jump in front of them. Yes, that's saving the van again. Okay, next fucking van, I see. I swear to God, I'm jumping in front of it. Because that, it's got to be that sieve. <laughs> if there's a van, like, god damn it. The only other van I've seen is this one right here. And that ain't moving. So if I jumped in front of that, it'd be pretty pointless. Oh. Those headlights, they're way too bright. They've, that's got to be a Yep, yeah, that's a sieve. Ah! <laughs> Shit. Ah. Fuck. Ah. Oh, fuck. Ah. Ah. 
man. Are you all right? You hit me, dude. You ran out into the middle of the road, dude. Yeah. I was picking something up and a fucking rattler came at me. Ah, my right, leg. Man, just, just sit down. You want to call 911 or you want me to, man? Uh, I haven't got my phone on me. Alright, let me see what I can do. Go ahead and just lean on the phone. You're good. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> it's Peter. The guy who gave me a lift earlier. You know, if you want, we can just uh, leave it here and, uh, I don't know, maybe like if you give me 500 bucks, we can call it a day and I'll just go my own way and get treated at the hospital. I don't want to cause too much trouble. <laughs> Never done an insurance scam, I assume that's how it's done. Yeah, man, uh, <laughs> you ran out into the street. I'm not going to give you money, man, so I'm definitely waiting for the cops to get here. I mean, that's just more hassle. <laughs> more hassle for me to give you my hard-earned cash, too, for a mistake that you made. Insurance fraud isn't going to help you here, man. It's not fraud, man. A rattler came at me. Yeah, you... I don't know, man. <laughs> You're asking for five hundred dollars at this point. You're asking for it. Shit, I'm fucked. Um, I tell you what, then. Um, if you give me a lift to the hospital, maybe, and I'll just call it there. Yeah, no, man. The cops are coming. Don't worry. Oh shit. Fuck. Oh, I do just flying. Is there uh, any damage to your van? I'm just trying to dig my way out of it at this point. Uh, it doesn't look like it, man, but I mean, you're <laughs> asking for money like that. It looks like you did this on purpose, man. I'm not I'm not falling for that shit. Nah, I was just trying to save us both time cuz insurance and all that, they're a pain in the ass. No, it's all right, man. I'll, I'll wait for the cops. Do you want a cigarette? <laughs> no, I don't smoke, man. I think I need a cigarette. Love this animation. So seamless. You can just drop the cigarette and walk off. I didn't even know rattlers lived in this part of the world. Never seen one before. Yeah, I haven't seen him around here either, man, so I don't know about that one. Certainly sounded like a rat there. Some kind of snake just went for me. Oh, how am I going to get out of this? I'm just going to have to be really fucking chill with the cops. I don't want to run off. I probably chose the worst person to do it to. <laughs> Peter is pretty thorough. Fair play to him. I don't think the cops are coming, no. I guess I'll limp to the hospital no, man, they're, and... You they're, they're coming. They're coming. I've, I've got some uh, close contacts within the department, so they'll be on their way. As I said, man, that's not necessary. God, how am I going to do this? I fucked up big time. <laughs> this really didn't work. Checks like for injuries from <laughs> I could have put accident in inverted commas from accident. <laughs> so uh, do you work for Merriweather or something? Or I mean, you're pretty tactical. I sponsor them. No, I sponsor them, buddy. Oh, that's interesting. 
I don't tend to trust organizations like that. I heard some bad shit in the news a few years I back. I don't intend to trust somebody that asked for $500 just to put this away. You're the one that made the mistake. That's on your insurance company, not mine. Half tempted to offer him cash just to make this go away. It's an interesting plate you got there. Up real bias. Yeah. Yeah, it's specifically for people that are trying to commit fraud against me, so kind of suits the moment, I guess. You seem convinced that I'm doing some kind of fraud. I wouldn't do that. I'm just an honest, hard-working guy. Yeah, I don't know about how hard-working you are, but you kind of came out of nowhere. Even if there's a rattlesnake, wouldn't that make more sense to run the opposite direction? Not if the rattlesnake's in the opposite direction. I was between a <laughs> rock and a hard place. I suppose so. But, I mean, you didn't see oncoming traffic come on, wouldn't you rather be potentially stricken by a rattlesnake rather than getting plowed by a van? Uh, I can't really answer that. I've never been bit by a rattlesnake. I'd imagine it's pretty uncomfortable. I'd uh, imagine getting hit by my van was pretty uncomfortable, too. Yeah, I mean, now I've tried it, I'd agree. I was just at the fruit stand, that's, that's, walk, that's right. <laughs> walk behind the van to get, well, to walk up through the forest up there. Dropped an apple, went to pick it up, and just something came at me like a snake. And I ain't sticking around to find out if that's uncomfortable or not. These cops are taking yeah, I forever. Man. I just don't want you calling my insurance company and trying to claim that I hit and ran. I, I want cops here, man. No, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I don't know you from anything, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that they show up. Why the hell they keep driving by, I don't know, but... If you, uh, drop me off at the hospital, I'll pay for any damages. Well, I'll pay for any damages anyway, but... I'd just rather get my leg checked out. I don't know, man. I've called the cops. I'm, I'm not gonna be responsible for you getting hurt by taking you to the hospital, so if you wanna maybe call them... You can use my phone right here. You give them a call and see if they can get get to you, because they're not answering me anymore. I've got an, a sensitivity to electromagnetism, so me and phones don't tend to mix well. <laughs> I'm determined. You're good with cars and high beams and getting hit by vans. Okay, all right. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm okay with it, but I'm not okay with getting bitten by a rattler either. Right back, but uh. Yeah, that guy right there, I, uh, he came out of the fruit stand at nighttime, and okay. I, I somehow clipped him, um, but he just kind of asked for money instead, so that way we didn't have to go through insurance, but I'm not, I'm not at fault here, and I'm not going to lose $500 or whatever he wants for this. Okay. All right, I got you. Uh, let me, uh, let me find out, uh, with this, uh, gentleman. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's your name, sir? I need to... Uh, my name's Tuck Meehan. That's Tuck, Tuck -E -E M-E-E-H-A-N, sir. There you go. Back to my original pad. Hey, how you doing, sir? Uh, what's your name, sir? You got any ID on you? Uh, yeah. Here you go. My name's Mc Charles Stephenson. I wasn't trying to do right, any... Uh, let me just... Uh... Oh, go on. What's that, sir? I was just going to say, I wasn't tending to do fraud or anything. I just dropped my fruit, went to pick it up, and a rattler came at me, so I just ran and... I guess I ran straight into the road. Kind of stupid of me. I love the way the puddle... Oh, the puddle... Is it... Grand Theft Auto, the attention to detail is incredible. When you actually stop and look at it... Like the puddles on the road and the dirt textures and the road textures. It is actually a lot of detail. I guess I just gotta wait for this cop to come back and try and talk my way out of it. Which I feel is something easier said than done. Here he is. 
All right, how you doing, sir? Here's your uh, here's your ID back. Thank you. Did you uh, did you have another incident a little bit further down the uh, down the road this way at another fruit stand? Uh, no, sir. I uh, when I contacted your dispatcher, I, I I may have given him the wrong fruit stand. I was just trying to tell him this one. I don't even know there was another one down that way, so I just assumed this was the only one. I apologize about that. I was gonna say I was. Yeah, that's not a problem. And you said that this uh, this gentleman uh, offered you the five hundred, or you offered him the five hundred to uh, just forget about you know go through insurance uh, no, and whatnot. No, sir. So he he, he suggested. I, I said, look, I, I want the police to be here for this because I mean I've already got you know my record was expunged for another incident similar to this one, but video evidence kind of expunged that for my record and uh, in court that is and. Uh, I just didn't want him to claim later on insurance against me. Uh, so he ended up offering, saying, sure oh, why don't you just give me $500 and we can forget about this uh, and just take me to the hospital. But again, I'm not trying to get anything on my record. You know? All right, so what, what happened here? So uh, I was at the fruit stand there. And I bought myself an apple, because, you know, keeps the doctor away. Well, apparently not. And I was walking behind that van, because I was going to walk down the shoulder down to the uh, shops down there. And I dropped my apple behind the van. Uh, that one over there, not that guy's van, obviously. And I bent down to pick it up, and some kind of snake, I assume a rattler, I don't know, not an expert, just came out of nowhere and lunged at me, so I just jumped backwards into the road and uh, clipped the side of this van and it threw me to the ground he pulled over and I hurt my leg and I'll admit at first I was like eh, is that my fault, his fault and for some reason I jumped to the conclusion that it was his fault so I was like if you just like take me to the hospital I'll forget about this I don't remember mentioning $500, I'm not sure where he got that from and uh, he was like, no, I want the cops here, so I just smoked a cigarette. And I wasn't trying to scam him or anything, because looking back, it totally was my fault. I have no intention of getting insurance involved. If anything, I'll raise my premiums. Okay, not a problem, sir. So uh, if you just go wait at the uh, back of the charger there, we'll uh, get everything figured out and sorted out here. Yeah, okay. As I said, I have no intention of scamming this dude. Not a problem, sir. There's Matthew. <laughs> I think Matthew's a save again. Alright. So, what I got from him was uh, he bought an apple at the uh, fruit stand and he was walking towards the uh, the van back over there. Uh, well, he was walking towards the shops down on 68 on the shoulder. He, dro he dropped his apple, uh, went to pick it up. When he bent over, he heard a a snake so he jumped uh, may have jumped too close to the road and was clipped by the van uh, he admits that he said uh, if he'd take me to the hospital I'll forget about it um, but he doesn't remember uh, stating that the individual should give him $500 to forget about it yeah I didn't say that yeah this guy uh, this guy over here in the van said that uh, the guy like jumped out in the middle of the road that was my neck. it looked like he was chasing after an apple <laughs> um, he said the guy did say that he wanted to uh, you know ask him hey why don't you just give me 500 bucks and we'll forget about the whole thing and this guy Tuck over here in this uh, black van <laughs> he um, he said that he just had a, a couple charges expunged and he didn't want to have to go to court for anything else because he didn't want to be in trouble with uh, you know law enforcement anymore so uh, that's why he figured he wanted to get an officer out here to get this situation taken care of because he, he didn't want to take he didn't want to have to pay the 500 when uh, you know he figured it wasn't his fault. My route here is to deny the 500. Yeah, and, and, and just... the, uh, the the other individual <laughs> stated it was fully his fault. So I mean, all we can do is get their information uh, swapped. Uh, just get it's not going to be a criminal thing. Um, I mean, I don't see the driver at fault at all. Uh, again, like the other individual stated, it was his fault. Yeah, no, I, I don't think that there's any criminality in it. Uh, he did he did admit that he did hit the guy, he did pull over and stop and, and call 911, so. 
tell you what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll just get their information uh, switched and then uh, we'll be good to go. Alrighty. Alright, sir, can I just get uh, your name real quick? Yeah, my name's uh, McCharles Stephenson. I'm just taking a photo just in case this progresses. As I say, I've got no interest in going to court or anything. Right, sir, real quick. Uh, you just step back by my vehicle real quick. This is just yes. in case he claims that there's like damage to his van that i got to pay for or something. Okay, no problem. Um, so again, this isn't going to be a criminal matter, like you said. You take res you take responsibility for uh, what happened. Um, I if anything, what we can do is get your guys's information or er, insurance information s swapped, and then uh, that'll be that. Yeah, I'm fine with that. As I said, I wasn't trying to I make an easy bug or anything. I was just going to the shops down there. Buy some whiskey, it's my, t my day off tomorrow. Okay, not a problem. <laughs> just bullshit my way out of this. Yeah, so we'll just wait for the other officer there and then uh, we should be good to go. Yeah. I think it's just going to be a bruise or something to my leg. It, it hurt at first, but it's starting to die down now. I'm just glad I hit the side, not the front. This is certainly an insurance scam gone wrong. Okay, he's fucking bombing it. And bouncing. Got all of those hydraulics on the cop cars. Alright officer, you got uh, you got this other gentleman's information or Yeah, well they they can just swap it between the two of them there. Okay, no problem. Alright, hey man, uh, what's your name by the way, brother? Uh McCharles. That's M C C H A R L E S. All right, <laughs> All right and uh, what insurance company do you have? Do you have mutual insurance? Uh, yeah, I believe that's the one. That sounds right. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm with them too, so it shouldn't be too hard for them to take care of that. So uh, my name's Tuck Tuck Meehan. Um, that's M E E H A N. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Look, man, I just. I just wanted to make sure we got this on paper. I mean, I'm not trying to get you in trouble and vice versa. I just, you know, I, I'm not trying to get back into court for this kind of crap, you know. But you're okay? Yeah, I'm, I think it's just going to be a bruise. All right, man. I mean, I, if you still need a lift, I'll, I mean, at this point, if it's okay with the office, I'll still take you to the, to the hospital so that way they can get back out on the road. Is that okay, sirs? It's okay with me if it's okay with this other officer. Yeah, I don't have any. I'd I just don't want you guys wasting your time for a transport, so I mean, I'll take him over. It's not a big deal. Alright. Alright, yeah, that's good. fine. I got my information, I got yours, so uh, I think we're all safe here, right? Yeah, that's fine. I'm fine. That's fine. Yep, yeah, you guys are right. uh, good to go. So. Alright, thanks. Alright, guys. guys, have a good night. Have a good night, sheriffs. God, that didn't work. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Just sit here in silence, I think. <laughs> That's all I can really do at this point. So, uh, it's a nice van you got here. It was. <laughs> Not too much damage, we're fine. I just wanted that on my record because I swear to God, you're like the third person to do that kind of shit. Even if it's an accident, man. I don't know. A lot of people pulling accidents today. Yeah, I've been there before. Never had one of those fucking, what are they call cash for crash, or crash for cash, whatever. But I've had a few accidents. I just completely smashed my window. My elbow is so goddamn strong. Jesus Christ. Yeah. You need to stop hitting the gym with all the protein, I think. 
Yeah, I don't know if it's the gym or fucking loneliness, but <laughs> girlfriend's out a lot, so you never know. <laughs> Too much information, but okay. <laughs> Might want to swap oh, hands shit. over. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, you gotta keep it even, you know. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, with weights you measure in kilos, how do you measure that? Thrusts? <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, thrust without taking a break, I guess. Well, you're more of a man than I could ever be. <laughs> I suppose. Uh, do you want to get dropped off here, man? Or yeah, you that's fine, man. I, I, I know you're fine. Alright, here. I appreciate that, brother. Alright, have a good one, man. Alright. <laughs> oh, pull my gun. Oh, that's glitched out. There you go. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today. That really did not work. Um, make sure you guys check out my Discord. I keep dropping links and things in there. I'm setting up new social media, and it's basically the best way to keep in touch with me. There's a link in the description, and I'll see you there. Peace out, guys.